All right, so check out the House Guest Podcast on YouTube. Episode one is now available. Our theme for today, Morehouse Journalism Dope is head. Oh, yo. Y'all clap it up for Morehouse Journalism. Y'all for good. Let's go. Morehouse Journalism just established a new major this past semester. And if you're interested in trying out a new major for all you youngins out there, then consider uh, choosing journalism. So I would like to welcome everybody to the House Guest Podcast. Um, I'm your host, Kennedy Edgerton. And here we have, with the bonnet, the fellow with the bonnet, we have uh, Joshua Brown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then we got a uh, body Joyce. Say hey, what's up. What's going on, y'all? And we got this. We got Bobby. Damn. Wow, it's just Bobby. Wow. Say what's up, Bobby. All right. Yeah. All right. And we're bringing you that sports talk that you will not find anywhere else in the AUC. You're goddamn right. Today's topic is. Super Bowl contenders. So I know y'all watch sports. You know, we got our Giants fans in here. Our, our, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got our Chargers fans in here for whatever reason. Both and, up! And we also have just... our, uh, Steelers fans in here. So, um, what do y'all think are the, uh, Super Bowl contenders through week 11? This is the answer. Yes. Right. Look at that ugly ass jersey. That's the answer. <laughs> That's the answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. What about y'all? The debut of LA, right there. You know, I'm not gonna get into some other details about the Steelers that Bobby doesn't want to be brought up right now. So, I'm <laughs> but, but uh, you know, I actually have a legitimate answer to that question. You know, obviously I'm gonna say the Chargers, but I'm gonna let everybody else give their uh, real opinions before I give my actual answer to that question. So, all right. Oh, fuck did you talk? If you say you want to go. This is a whole spiel. That's a sad. I'm going to last. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Only what I got to say before I give y'all the, the real bomb of info, you know? The real, the, the, the knowledge drop, you know? Bobby, that's Bobby. Bobby, this is you. I love how I feel. I, I hate to say it because I hate this team with a passion, but I feel like the Cowboys... Right now in the NFL. Yes, not Dallas. Like, their defense is causing turnovers. Like, they got Zeke and, like, Tony Pollard as running backs. Like, they're carrying the load. They got Dak, like, throwing these bombs. They got receivers in CD Lamb. They got Amari Cooper. Like, they look like the most all-around team in the NFL. No, and Bobby, they got the record to support it. I can name teams as well that have players like that. You know, I can name a team that has two running backs, two wide receivers. That's, that's nothing special, you know. But who have they beat? Who who have the Cowboys beat that are that are actually good, above five hundred? <laughs> I mean, I mean, they beat, the well, I be watching the games myself. Like they be looking good. They beat the Chargers, but I don't think you could say a team looks good when they're down pretty to nothing to the Denver Broncos of all teams. Like that's that's pretty bad. I mean, every team has a fluke. Like, for instance, Alabama lost this season. Like, they're not a perfect record. Every team they has a, to a good team. Though. And this is the NFL. Like, every team going to have a hiccup here and there. lost to a team that's ranked 13th in the country. The Broncos are not the 13th best team in the NFL. That, that doesn't equate. Okay, then who do you feel is a better team? In the, I would take the Packers any day of the week. Oh, the Packers? Okay. Hmm. You can talk about, you know about Aaron Jones. Oh, no, Aaron Jones did just get hurt. I do think that t- hurts their chances a little bit. However, they're saying that he's only supposed to be out for one to two weeks. So he comes back healthy. I feel like the AJ Dillon Aaron Jones combo is just as lethal as the Tony Pollard Ezekiel Elliott. It's just in a different form. Um, they're going to be a little more up the gut on you, you know, Zeke, and then they're going to bounce around the edge. You know, be a little lighter on their feet. And I think Devontae Adams, him alone, is worth Amari Cooper and GD Lamb put together. So, like, you could easily make that argument. And, and Aaron Rodgers. But you could game plan around one receiver. Like, that's the problem. Is, like, you could game plan around one receiver. Like, just look at the LA Rams. Like, Cooper Cup gets, like, what, 12, 13 tar- targets, like, game. Like, recently the NFL found them out. Like, they just double-teamed Cooper. 
and there's no passing offense. Like Matthew Stafford is struggling out here. Okay, well then look at the Cardinals. The Cardinals have a one wide receiver offense too, but they oh, make oh, no. they're yeah, only they're like, they only lost because Kyler Murray wasn't playing. Like that that's not. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, you can make that argument. And Kenny, I ain't trying to come for you because I know you're a Cardinals fan. For you. Never God for given reason. But no. <laughs> it's kind of obvious that one of these people is a Giants fan by the fact that they haven't said a word in this conversation. But, you know. Are you not know, all the New York football fans? Like, I know your struggles. It's true. Man, I mean, as a, as a New York Giants fan, as a two-time Tom Brady defeater fan, Oh, uh, it is unfortunate to say. Here we that go, living in the past. I do not foresee. Living in the past. I do not foresee our chances of making the Super Bowl for this year. However, however, that does not mean I have not seen the brilliant efforts of two teams that I wish to see go head to head at the greatest championship in the world. Unless I don't we have about that in this question. We'll continue. Anyways, what are the two teams? <laughs> This will be a bat the battle of LA with the Rams representing the NFL versus the Chargers representing the AFL. If you look at Jay Herbo on the field, his stats are very astronomical compared to last season. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do you feel about the Rams right now? Did you say the AFL? Yeah. Yep, he definitely said that. He said yes. You said the AFL, bro. Come on, man. The American Football League? Oh, that's the, that's like in the 1950s, bro. You, you yeah, that's the NFL right now. Oh, the AFC. Oh, NFC. Oh, NFC. That's what it is. I thought it was NFL. Oh, I thought it was like National Football League yeah. and American Football League. I thought it just went on the. Oh. It's all right, Bonnet Chronicles. For, so, for those of y'all watching, he, he's a basketball dude. Yeah, oh, shit. football ain't his forte. I'm not even a basketball. I'm a music dude. A music slash basketball dude. But Kennedy, who, who's your who's your favorite? You? The Cardinals, bro. We now, have a former favorite team. <laughs> about the team you think has the best chance to win the top Super Bowl? Okay. Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and say the Packers because they managed to beat my Cardinals. Without their best wide receiver, right? Aaron Rodgers is the most accurate quarter. He, he he's the goat. I don't know about Tom Brady. They got the goat on that team. I feel like that's already undisputed. Tom Brady's goat. Yeah, nah, nah. I can't yes. agree with you on that one. I, I can't agree with you on that one. I think he's the best quarterback in the league right now, but I ain't gonna say he's goat. But continue. I'm gonna say in terms of his talent, he's the goat. In terms of his point, like his talent and stats wise, I would say he's the best. My opinion. That, that's fair. That, yeah. That alone gives them a chance to get to the Super Bowl. I don't know about their defense. Their defense is a little. Jair mean, Alexander's been holding it down at corner. Where like Chandler yeah. Jones, like after that first like amazing week one, like he kind of like simmered down. Yeah, and JJ Watt is out for the season, obviously. So that means both your edge rushers are kind of a bit minimized here. But I mean, that's the that's the Cardinals. Though. We still talking about the the Packers. I, yeah. I, I, you with that one, but I think you have sold my answer. Um, you know, my real answer, as much as I want to say the Chargers, I, I gotta go Packers. Um, however, I, I'm not sure if, if Rodgers can get over that NFC championship curse, man. Like, he, he's been stuck on it for years. And if he wins this, if he wins the NFC, he will win the Super Bowl, but he's got to win the NFC, and we know that he struggles to do that year in and year out. You know, I would argue that that curse that he has, I would argue that's more on his coaches. Than him, I would argue that. Honestly. So what problems do you have with Matt Lafleur? Because I mean, I feel like he's done a pretty decent job since he's taken over from McCarthy. So. Well, you know, you had last season during the NFC Championship game was against the Buccaneers, correct? Right. No, the the kick decision. Yeah. Well, You're right. Exactly. He wouldn't let Aaron captain the team. This guy is a veteran. He's been in the league for dec like a decade or so. I was born. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> exactly. He needs to be. You need to put the ball in his hands. Put the decision making in his hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That. So I you're telling the coach to play like backfield. Yes. Like, kind of like how LeBron does with like. I was gonna say let Aaron Rodgers right be the LeBron in the NFL. Yeah. Real quick. He's the LeBron of the NFL. Let him do his thing and get the fuck out of the way. That's how I feel about it. I feel like Aaron Rodgers was probably the problem. Like you know. 
when I was watching that game, that Packers defense was causing turnovers and preventing Tom Brady from scoring. Like, there was a certain point where they only scored, like, what, in three possessions, like, late in the game, they only scored three points, and yet Aaron Rodgers couldn't move down the field. Like, the defense could only do so much to help Aaron Rodgers make it, like, to the next round. Like, yeah. Aaron Rodgers can't move the field down to scoring position and actually get some points for the team. The defense can't win the game. Mm-hmm. That's and that's lucky to get against, like, Tom Brady. Like, Tom Brady rarely throws interceptions. Yet, like, I remember, like, one play, Jair Alexander just jumped up, snagged it. Another one, like, Tom Brady made a clear error, like, another interception. And then they just stopped. They kept on stopping him, but Aaron Rodgers couldn't pick up from there. Yeah. Well, hopefully things will be different this year. I know we chose the Packers for the NFC, but who who y'all got for the AFC? That's that's where it's, it's unclear right now. So many good teams. You know, yeah, that one's like a tight I, race. I think there's four teams for real that could take it, but I think they all have a flaw. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to start with my most obvious answer. That would be the Chargers. When their offense is clicking, I don't think there's another offense unit out there that can compete in the AFC West. I really don't. And I mean uh, the unit. I'm not talking about the Tyree Hill, Kelsey, Pat Mahomes trio. That needs right. to be great. The other wide receivers and the running backs, too. But I feel they're lacking there, especially with Clyde being out. I'm talking about you take Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Austin Eckler, and even though he's nowhere near as good as Hunter Henry was, and he's nowhere near his best self like when he was with the Packers, Jared Cook has been able to compensate and take over the loss there. And obviously Herbert's been playing great. Now he hasn't had a bad couple three of the last four weeks, but as long as he gets back on track, they have a chance. Um, but their defense is the issue. Uh, they can't stop the run at all. Uh, that's been just making me want to just shoot myself all year. They, they can't stop the run. I think teams are averaging like 150 yards rushing against them every week. It's terrible. And the corners in the secondary are banged up right now. Um, you know, I think, uh, Sante Samuel just got cleared, so he's back. But Michael Davis is out with a hamstring injury. You know, those take forever to come back from, so who knows when he'll be back. So this, if their defense can get healthy again and stop the run, they have a great shot. But if that doesn't happen, that's their big flaw. I think the Ravens are also in that conversation. But if Lamar's off, the offense yeah. anything Exactly. The whole thing. Yeah, Lamar relying. Yeah, that too. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's had a great comeback multiple times this year, but you can't rely on him to do that week in and week out. And if you get to that NFC or that AFC championship or that Super Bowl, you're going to be facing teams that they're not going to let that happen. Like, it's just it's being honest. That's their biggest flaw. They're too, they're too Lamar. Right? Um, I think the Bills, the Bills are really good, but they inexplicably fall apart every now and then. And it's not like it's good. It's just random. Like, how do you only score six points against – the, the Jaguars of all teams. I don't care if Josh Allen was destroying Josh Allen. How do you let that happen? That just doesn't make sense to me. Um, it's just things like that. I think those are the big three. And then if the Chiefs get their defense right, you already know how that offense is. So, I mean, I feel like the Packers really – The offense has been struggling these these first few weeks. they just not playing The really. offense has been scoring. That hasn't been the issue. Even though they've been losing, they only put up 13 points against the Bears, I think it was, but the offense has been scoring this season. It's just that defense. That that defense. Oof. It's it's terrible. Yeah. I think those are your four favorites in the AFC. Um, I think the Pats can be there in a couple years, but they're not there this year. Um, And the Steelers need to move on at quarterback to compete again. That's how (laughs) I'm I'm Bobby coming on that one. What you got to say about that? Like, for instance, like, my team, the Steelers, of course, like, Let's say the t- the Titans, even though they still got a great record right now, since they lost, obviously lost Derrick Henry, who but they I have had as the MVP before he got hurt. Like, do you think they're still in it? And what about the Patriots? Like, the Patriots have been making a real, like, run as of recently. So, let's finalize these picks before we sign off. So, the NFC, our consensus is the Packers, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Well, Bobby says the Cowboys, so... You know, yeah, but most of us say the Packers. I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, NFC, we got the Packers. So, for the AFC, it sounds like everyone's thinking about the Chargers. What Which, it like. 
I'm going to be real. I think we're pretty idiotic for that one. But I'm not going to say no because that's my team, you know. <laughs> but. AFC is like, a little harder to like pick out. Like, yeah, that's just how I feel. It's a little harder to pick out. Come to a decision on that one. I, re- I really do. <laughs> So, I would like to end this episode with a call to action. I want all of our viewers to check us out on YouTube and look for the audio to this podcast on SoundCloud. And as always, thank you for viewing, and we'll see you guys next time.